Hello friends, in this video, I will show the step-by-step -step assembly process of the electric shocker AK-22 Prometheus. This altering is already 3 years, especially for those who are looking for a reliable weapon for self-defense. Model power is 80 watts, the air breakdown up to 3 cm. The output voltage about 25 to 30 kilowatts. However, I note that such a device may not be legal in our country. Attention, if you are far from the electronics, I do not advise even to fry or replicate the design. Attention, the author warns the electroshocker assembly is strictly prohibited to person under the age of maturity. The author assumes no responsibility for your actions. The material was prepared for informational purposes only. Under the video, you can find link to Shocker Scheme and other usual links. First, we take the electronic transformer, for example type Toshiba, approximately from 50 to 60 watt. Remove the board from the housing and a solder pulse transformer. Wires also are useful in the future. Remove fixing insulation. Transformer core halves are bonded to each other, heating it for about 5 minutes with soldering iron. Halves are separated using pliers. Unfortunately, I broke the core, but it is not fatal. Later, they will glued with super glue. I unrolling the factory coil. Remove the pins from the flame. The first coil has 80 turns of fire. Save it. We'll need it. Now, let's make the new coil. The primary winding has a midpoint and consists of 5 turns in both shoulders. I will use the saved wire from factory coil. Thickness is from 0.5 to 0.6 mm. For a road measurement of the wire length, I made 5 turns on the finger. Cut the 10 pieces of the same length. Both tie shoulders consist of 5 pieces of the wires. Reel up two shoulders simultaneously. Make five turns clockwise. Then, isolate the primary winding with narrow tape to avoid high voltage breakdown between the windings. Make about 10 layers in the middle and at the edges. It doesn't look very nice, but it's safe. For the secondary winding is needed wire from 0.06 to 0.1 mm. I got it from a coil, which can be taken out from the relay of the chip. Chinese watches powered by one battery. The end of the thin wire solder it to the thick one with silicon insulation. This is first output of the secondary winding. I strengthen it with tape.
Notice how I hold a thin wire. There are many methods to reel up high voltage transformers. I'm not saying that this is the best, but it is the most affordable and was created by me five years ago. Now you can proceed winding. Reel up clockwise from top to bottom. Then isolate the climb upwards. I was making several layers until the number of turns to be about 1000. It is available to win gently turn to turn, because then there are danger high voltage breakdown. Each layer contains approximately from 80 to 100 turns and between these layers must reel up five layers of insulation tape. Notice how I hold the wire. It goes along with the tape. You should not cut wire. If the wire breaks off suddenly, it is better to start over. But you can solder. Breakage occurs at this must be very well insulted. It is important to remember that the primary and the secondary winding should be wound in the same direction, both clockwise or both counterclockwise. It is last layer. Again, wire goes along with the adhesive tape. We did use it from the frame and cut away. I fix a wire and want another 5-6 layers of tape. This is a common high voltage output. Now collect core, but first glue the broken part. The adhesive layer should be thin so as not to create an artificial gap. But it's possible just tightly rub the tape without glue. After glue has dried, core can be collected. Cut a strip about 5 mm width from a piece of tape with length of about 20 cm to fix the core halves. Tightly pulling electrical tape firmly pressed core halves to eliminate the slightest gap between them. At the end we will use the epoxy resin. If it penetrates into the gap, the characteristics of the transformer will worsen. Now go back to the end pin of the secondary winding. Tweet the thin wire on a thick one, sealed and fix. Be careful in this place. Make one circle around transformer. Then hide the wire under insulation and pull additional insulation above it. It is adversable. To pull tight, you can further secure with tape. Here is the finished transformer. Now, it is necessary to ensure the integrity of the secondary winding. Remove the insulation from jacket with the multimeter or other device. In my case, it is transistor tester, bought online, see link under the video. Check winding resistance. It is equal to 338 ohms. It is OK. Inductance is not important. But the device also shows its value.
very important process is phasing the primary winding. Determine the coil ends using multimeter. The beginning of first coil connected to the end of second. In other words, connect two ends from opposite sides, which we are not from same coil. This is a middle point. Here connect the throttle. Let me show how it was made. Ring was taken from the computer power supply. Wire consists of two pieces of 0.8 mm thick. They are twisted in beginning and down from 7 to 15 turns. Prefer to wind two wires thinner than a thick one because of the softness. Wire diameter could be from 0.8 to 1.2 mm. This is throttle with about 12 to 14 turns. Pins leave about 2 cm long and thin dense. Then take the relay and one of the coil pins connect to the midpoint. Here will connect positive pole of battery. In parallel, the relay coil is necessary to install a low power rectifier diode, such as in 4007. This is not ensure that the transistors are not burned out due to self-inductance of coil. However, usually this does not happen. Now, let's look at components for further assembly. 15 ampere free position switch, middle position tuned off, other tune on shocker or flashlight. Relay 12 volt from 10 to 20 ampere, which I pulled out from old UPS. 6 resistors, 8.2 mega ohm, 0.25 watts, can be up to 10 mega ohm. Little button without fixing. The LED may be any color and diameter of 3 or 5 mm. LED indicated that protection is disabled and can be used shocker. Two PCS powerful in channel field effect transistor IRFZ44 or IRF3205 or similar. Two PCS Zener diode from 5.1 volt to 6.8 volt preferably above 1 watt. Two PCS 680 ohms resistor can be up to 1 kilo ohm and one more of the same value to limit LED current. Four PCS high voltage diode. I used Russian diodes KC 106G. High voltage capacitors could be any 1000 picofarad to 20,000 picofarad. The voltage is above 3.6 kV, but above 6 kV safer. Let's begin the assembly. First connect in series 6 dischargers resistors, 8.2 mega ohm. Next, we assemble a voltage multiplier. Generator assembled on small development board. Batteries of 18650 standard I got from an old laptop. Disconnect all, check them and choose free PCS. Connected in series, we will have around 11 volt. <music> 
John with hot glue, tuning contacts, be careful not to overheat the batteries. Connect in series. As a box, I use a siphon, which can be purchased at any building material store. Diameter is 4 cm. This is a common plastic pipe. Make some measurements. The box will be divided into two parts. In one side, we'll locate the battery, switch and control part. In the other side, will be a high voltage components, voltage multiplier, transformer and generator. This part will hermetically sealed with epoxy. I use Dremel to cut and drill. The switch pins tint before installing. Now we have to insert the batteries. The plastic is quite tough, to soften it must be heated. Then insert the battery with sharp movements. Connect the battery plus to middle point of the switch. Solder resistor to LED and install it. To close ends of the box, cut out two circles of plastic. Thickness is about 4 mm. Set the start button, switch, charger slot. All fixed with hot glue. At one circle make two holes for wiring a flashlight. Flashlight can be made from a piece of LED strip. It is already include a current limiting resistors. But I used the matrix collected from five separate warm white LEDs and current limiting resistor. Matrix glued to circle. I put some glue above matrix and quickly gave the desired shape by wet finger. Mm -hmm. 
discharger pins made of stainless steel strips thickness about 1 to 1 with half millimeter. You can use the bolts, screws or copper wire of 1 with half to 3 millimeter as discharger pins. Pins are driven in a plastic circle. Assembly of six resistors. Solder it to pins in parallel. Connect the multiplier, transformer and generator. Fix with hot glue all contacts and the pulse transformer. Install in the tube. Seal all openings with hot glue outside of tube because the inner part will fill with epoxy. Prepare epoxing according to the instructions. Fill epoxy until it covers the multiplier and transformer. Remove the side contact from connector with changing. Install in battery half of box. Connect the relay. Fix on with glue. After curing epoxy, isolate the generator with tape to exclude contact with components in the other half of housing and fix with glue. Make final connections. Outside glue should be removed carefully. Check before join two halves. The two halves of the housing can be glued together and tightly wrapped with tape. Outside plaster, carboxylic 3D film. How charging shocker? Ideally, it should be charged using the controlling for lithium batteries. But if there is no such, it is possible to use the charger with current limit and adjustable voltage. I want to remind that this device may be not legal in our country. I emphasize that in spite of the power of the shocker, death is excluded. It is safe for health, will make disorienting shock and small burn. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.